Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at ya with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today, gonna be a brave new world. Sent a sniper monkey at the email address in the description. If you want me to cast your Brave New World replay, send it to Sniper Monkey with the subject of Brave Noob World. Just means it's bronze or silver, and we'll take it from there, okay? So top right, we've got uh, Red Terran player, Ikea Really DP. And in the bottom left, a Blue Zerg player, Hand Sun. Alright. So, oh, why is this a Brave New World staple? Walling off with supply depots. You don't need this many supply depots. If you want to wall off, just wall off up here. Like, barracks and a supply depot can wall off the top of your ramp. And then SCV Scout, if you want to see if it's a quick pool or not. This is definitely a pool first play. With double gas coming from Hansun. And an expansion as a follow-up. Are we going to saturate these, Mr. Hansun? Uh, are we? Okay, saturating one. Why? Why did you take this if you're not going to saturate it? Woo! Brave New World is off to a rousing start. Huh. The bunker. With how many Marines? We've got zero Marines so far. Factory making Hellions without a reactor. A Marauder being produced. Stim on the way. Drones pumping. Saturating the other gas. What are we doing with this gas, Hanson? Are we going for something of a Nidus play? Oh. Okay. A Lair's on the way. Mm, Alright, so I'm going to withhold judgment for all the gas that Hanson is getting. If he Nidus's, right? Or pumps out a whole lot of roaches with, you know. <laughs> oh. No, Hellions, get in. Line them up. Line them up. This is why you have to have something. Dude has a queen. He's still not making Zerglings. He's like, that's ah, fine. Just one Hellion. We can deal with it. I mean, that's true, but five drones died. Are you kidding? Creep spread pushing out to this third base. Love that stuff. <laughs> oh, we know what add-ons are. Look at a naked starport. That's weird to see, right? You don't see that very much. In professional games, there's either going to be a reactor here or a tech lab. But I guess if you just want to make a Viking, that's cool. Another factory. Is he mecking it? He's got an expansion here, too. It is 36 to 22 workers in favor of Hansun. Still sitting on 700 gas. Oh, Hydralisk Den and a Roach Warren. Okay, so look at this point. At 35 workers as a Zerg player, what you can kind of do here is just pump innumerable Roaches and Hydras. And then kind of A-move and win this thing. There's one tank, two Marauders. Three Marauders back here. This Terran player cannot handle any kind of an attack that way. I like the Overlord Scout. That's what the Viking and the Missile Turrets are for. We're going from mech upgrades, double factory here. It's great. You see, oh, got, he made some lings to deal with that annoying Hellion. Great job, dude. Really fantastic work. Hellbats on the way. Okay, that's fine, too. And what was your army? A Roach and six lings. Dude, you have a Hydralisk 10. You have so much gas. You have... Two larvae. Okay, that's a problem here. The injects aren't great. You know how to inject, which is nice. I n see you've injected your main base at least a couple times today, which is fantastic. No queen at the third base is a problem. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're just going to say this once and just make a note. Lower level players, if I'm casting your game and you have some like requests, the biggest thing you can do to improve your game and get out of bronze and silver is go to lotv.spawningtool.com. Tool like toolbox. And click on build orders at the top, okay? There's going to be a place there for Terran build orders and for Zerg build orders versus all different matchups. What's safe? What's not safe? When you want to make things? If you have a good opening build order, like your first six minutes are just solid build orders. You have an army, right? Everything's good. Then you're going to do much, much better than if you're just kind of doing whatever you want to do. Which is what Hanson is working on here today. Creep spread is good. Like, I got to... I really have to just... I mean, I'm very impressed. <laughs> Gotta give it to Hanson here. He's getting upgrades. He's getting a Lurker Den. Lurkers are so good at the lower levels. If you saw my last Brave New World cast, you'll know what I mean by that. Woof. A lot of roaches. Army supply is 81 to 32. Like, here's where... This is the thing. 
A Rotider army is not a defensive army. If you want to defend and just macro your face off, it's going to be Lings and Banes and Queens. That's a defensive army. If you're making a million Roaches on Hydros, go kill them. Go murder the Terran. I, man, that's expansion timing for Hanson. It's not bad. At 10 minutes for him to have five, six bases is nuts. Okay, five bases. Five bases is still insane. The Terran over here, Akia, is getting a fourth base, and the fourth base is done as well. Insane. This is some of the best macro play I've seen from a Brave New World game in a while. That said, okay, I was going to say there are no add-ons on these starports, which is a problem. <gasps> so you go in battle cruisers. Starport, another starport. Is it? I don't know, man. Tech Labs. It's Tech Labs, and it's Thor production. I like it. Look, if you're going to play Terran, going mech against a Zerg opponent is amazing. Mass Thor alone is going to crush players at this level of StarCraft, okay? Maybe if, maybe not if you walk into a million lurkers. No. But despite having a lurker den, it seems like... Oh, no, he's got some lurkers out. They're defending this base. I like it. I like it a lot. So look, it's 138 RB supply for Hanson. Dude's maxed out at 12 minutes, which for a Brave New World game is unthinkable. Are these players better than they say they are? APMs aren't crazy high. They're both around 70. And again, their openings are garbage, which again is fine. Everybody starts somewhere, okay? When I say an opening is garbage, I don't mean you're a garbage human being. It's just you need standard build orders and openings. You just do. Burrow's coming in. We're getting cloak. Plus three armor for mech is on the way here too. That's amazing. So look, you got double the army value. You can at least kill these bases. There's nothing defending these bases. Does he have overseer? Dude, he has overseers too. Oh my gosh. He oh, he's using oversight? Ah! son, why are you not? Why? Ow. Why are you not promoted yet, my friend? Creep spread has kind of slowed down. I say that as he tosses down some new creep tumors. Okay. All right. It's all good. Everything's fine. <laughs> What's next? What do we have next of all here? Adrenal glands. Love the adrenal glands. Going plus one melee. Going missile attacks. Getting... Mech upgrades all the way across the board here is Akia. And yeah, both players are pretty adverse to moving out with an army and just trying to kill anything from the opponent. No bases have died. No bases have been under attack. Oh, there's like a two Hellion harass play from Akia that, I mean, killed five drones, but really not much of other, you know, anything else. It was a good scout, right? That overlord came through here. But based on the fact that you can see sensor towers up along this top side, you know where these bases are. Also, Akia using Widow Mines is just genius. I really can't say enough about getting Widow Mines. I wish that professional players got them more often. I really do. So, Hanson. Roach Hydra. Infestors. All right. All right. Come on. We're getting Infestors and Ghost play? Okay, so these players know way more about the game than the average Brave Noob World player. But, unfortunately, their build orders are bad. And their understanding of when to attack is bad. And I feel like there's not going to be a lot of micro during this battle. Oh, never mind. Hanson thought about moving in there. Chose not to. Not a bad idea. Like, an entrenched Terran position at a base, especially if they're mech, don't go in there. Go try to attack this base instead. I like the Great Wall of Supply Depots. This, obviously, Akia's been watching a lot of Maru and Cure and Bunny and other elite Terran Korean players. And even not the Korean ones, like Clem too, right? And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make a wall of supply depots on this side so Zerg attacks can't get in here very easily and just kill you. Smart. So you're just borrowing. You borrow stuff from the people that you watch. And that's how you get better, right? You just try to emulate their styles. Creep spread could be continuing here. I like that it's going up this way. This base has never been saturated. Hanson only has 52 workers, by the way. Sitting on 13,000 minerals. Has 52 workers. So army value continues to be huge. But what you did, what you did messed up on here is that you got big. Then you let your Terran opponent get big. Which took some time, but you let him do it. And now he has a big scary mech army. And now you're a dead Zerg, right? That's usually how that works. Oh, I like that we're getting nukes. Akia throwing in a little bit of nuke play here. The Thors are moving out. Look. Remember what I said about Mass Thor pretty much winning anything in this lower level? I don't know. 
Mass Thor against like a Roach Hydra Lurker style might not do as well. This poor Thor's. Uh, I like it. He's sending Lings in to see what's what. He's not just sending the whole army in there to see what he's dealing with. Which is something I would do. I'm like, what's in here? Send the whole army. Oh, they all died. Crap. So, <laughs> this is... This is too good. This is too good. But it's not really Mindrake's Madness either. Like, these guys are so passive. And this is it. Like, this is why you're not getting promoted, Hans Sun. You have amazing macro. Like, you're following a lot of, you know, just expand a bunch, make a ton of drones, win the ball game. That's how Zerg works, you know? Oh, we got a nuke. Oh, double nukes. Double nukage. What? Nakia. Nakia, you too. Like, you might be losing because you're not harassing you. Oh, nuke one. Nuke two. What is happening right now? Nuke three is going to kill some ghosts, though. Oh, four, maybe? Whichever one's first. Ah! ah! Got the ghosts out of there, too. Okay, so those nukes were fine. I'm going to say they were fine. They weren't amazing, but they were fine. Look at these cloaked ghosts getting shots off here. Lurkers backing out because these guys are invisible. Don't like what that is at all. And once again, I'm just going to point out this Roach Hydra army. It has an expiration date. It's amazing if you first max out on it in the first seven to eight to nine minutes, right? Maybe ten minutes. If you attack with it, then it's great. But then it falls apart. It falls off a cliff after that point. You're just not going to be able to get good traits here with Roach Hydra. I, mm, don't go in there. He knows. He knows. These tanks, man, they got plus three attack. They got plus three armor. It is 3-3 for the Roaches and Hydras and Lurkers, too, from Hansun. So, I mean, both players getting amazingly good upgrades. Like, insanely impressive upgrades. Like, these bunkers over on the right side, even if they're empty. Widowmine's over here, too. Yeah. I mean, Akia knows how to play hardwire, is what we're looking at here from both of these perspectives. More command centers on the way. Got some idle SCVs up here. I'm not sure what that... Oh, 27 workers at this base. All right, here we go. This is something we work on from Akia. Uh, send those SCVs down to bases that don't have any workers at them. This has six SCVs. Send more over here. Expand in this location. Expand in this location. Send these SCVs somewhere other than here where they're huddling. I think a bunch of these are idle. Like, I don't even think these are... They're not even waiting. They're just, like, chilling. Are they following? Oh, my gosh. I think they're following one of these SCVs that is waiting and is mining. Watch this. When it's his turn and he goes back, all of these SCVs will follow him. What a weird... There it is. What a weird setup. I've never seen that before. How did you... I don't even know how you did that, Akia. Ah! What? What? Oh, my gosh. Ultra Mega Quadruple Nuke inside the Zerg base. Oh my gosh. Akia, you're the real MVP. <laughs> Kills one of the ghosts. How many nukes do you have? Th three more. Because they're going down. The hive's going to die. I mean, this evolution chamber is going to die, but oops. oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, he pulled out. He pulled back. Okay, I was going to say he's going to walk into these nukes. Nope. Hi, does go down. Oh, my gosh. Insane. Insane. So these ghosts are all dead, but you know. Oh, hold on. No, they are. Attacking right up the front here. He's got scans. I know it's a single lurker, but you can handle it. I know you can. Just go kill it. It's just one. Oh, your scan wore off, though. Do you have ravens? Uh, a lot of Vikings out. That's very good, but the raven count is zero. Oh, no, there is one. There's a raven. He's in here. Okay, good. Another scan. Are we finally going to get a massive engagement? Here we are. Ah, he's using microbial shroud. Oh, an anti armor. Dude, spell casting. Okay, I don't know if this is really Brave New World. Holy smokes. I mean, even with the Microbial Shroud, everything for Zerg died there. I mean, that the anti-armor missile there from Akia helped immensely too. Let's not discount that. Wow. Yeah, this... I don't know. Is this 
silver these days? Can silver sometimes actually do spellcasting? But they can't get promoted out because maybe their attack timings are terrible. Look at these expansions, though. I love it. Ikea is expanding everywhere down this left side. These SCVs are still here. Ikea doesn't have any money, and it's because of the 27 SCVs okay, that are all hanging out up here. So many idle workers. R put them... Put them to work somewhere. Here would be good. Oh, what's Hanson's drone situation like? Well, he's got 16 workers. 16? What has been killing his drones today? He's got 25 workers that have died. I guess maybe nukes. I guess the nukes that were here were pretty bad. Wow. So, Akia should definitely win this game. Up 159 to 59 total supply. The reversal is real. Hanson is not really replacing his economy all that much, is he? He's got 11,000 minerals. He's got, man, no larva at all. Are the injects happening here? No. Where are the queens? Two queens. Where are they? There's one at this base. Okay. There's an idle drone here. Yeah, man. Just get... Oh, there's a, there's a queen over here, too, at the main base. She's ready. Oh, we're pooping creep to save the buildings. Oh, that's so... That is clutch. That Hydralisk den is almost dead, as well as that Lurker den. Then he poops creep and saves them. Yeah, man, these guys know what's going on. These guys, these two players have a really good understanding of the game. It's just execution, right? It's just a matter of... <laughs> Can you out-expand your opponent? Can you, I mean, actually win fights? If you can win fights, that's good. It's always great. More nukes. Seven nukes at a time. Seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Seven ghost academies are working here today. Akia's like, I can't win. It's 96 to 98 army supply. Are you worried about the microbial shroud? I'd be worried about microbial shroud, to be honest. Like, if I'm at a silver and I'm like, what? I know what that is. That's my. is. I've seen that on TV. <laughs> I've seen that in professional games. Why is this dude throwing down microbial shroud? It's a great question, man. Are the APMs any better? Mm, no. It's gonna gotten worse for Hanson, actually. Under 70 APM now. It's like, Roach Hider microbial shroud wins everything. And maybe that's another problem for Hanson, too. Is he just, He's using this composition. And it's not going to work for him. And it's not necessarily his fault, either. Mewling out that top left base. Fantastic. These <laughs> SCVs are idle, man. So we got rid of them. Okay, good. Okay, good. We didn't saturate this base at all. Mm, we saturated this base, kind of. This base, kind of. Where are all these SCVs? Where did these guys go? Some of them are over here not doing anything. Some of them are over here not doing anything. What? Where are they? This? Oh, it's this. Did we oversaturate the heck out of this planetary? It seems like it, yeah. So, Akia's mechin' it hard. What's he attacking? He's attacking his own SCVs to free up supplies. Like, I don't need 65 workers. I've got 3,000 minerals now. That is true. Oh, he's killing his own Vikings to free up supply here, too, for more ghosts. He's like, I need to make more ghosts, obviously. We've got seven nukes and no ghosts. That's not going to work. If I have seven ghosts and only two nukes, or rather, seven nukes and only two ghosts. That's not going to work either, is it? This one roach. Very brave. Are these Vikings going to land and kill it? Oh my gosh, they are. Okay, that's funny. When's the last time you saw Vikings land and kill a roach? It's been a long time, hasn't it? That is the magic of Brave Noob World. It's truly magic. A hush. Falls over the battlefield, and the music silences, too. So, I mean, Hanson was so good to take five bases, and he just never took a sixth. He never expanded here. He never expanded here. He's just... I was like, I got my composition. I got what I need. I've got 28 workers and a bigger army than you. My Carbidal Shroud is up, but, like, unnecessarily is the thing here. And it slowly dissipates. That's just a cool animation. You don't really get a chance to see that very closely, do you? Not usually. Okay. Microbial Shroud again. Hey, you killed the planetary! 
Hey, you're gonna kill, my gosh, another microbial shroud. Oh, did I forget? <laughs> I completely forgot. Microbial shroud only works against air attacks on your ground units. So it doesn't help against tanks or Thors at all. Oh no, Hanson. Hanson, no. Oh, I'm sure a bunch of you watching were like, this guy is so dumb. Why doesn't Falcon realize that? I, You know what? It's 12.30 in the morning. I've done a ton of casting today. That's my excuse. And I know that about my microbial shroud, but I just completely forgot that aspect of it. So, yeah. Microbial shroud is useless against anything ground. It only works if there's, like, carriers or void rays attacking you. Or battle cruisers, but there's none of that here. It's all ground mech stuff and ghosts. Look at this very safe, very cautious nuke that Ikea is throwing down right now. Very safe. <laughs> Killed a critter, but that's it. He's like, huh? So nothing here. All right. Like there should be a base. This no, there's not a base here. Very strange. Yes, it is honestly quite strange. Double nukes. This is really just an A-move scenario for all these Thors. It is. It's 136 to 84 army supply. I mean, these nukes are not really accomplishing a lot. They killed a spine, which is fine. Boom, boom, boom. Ba -da -ba -da -dum, boom, boom. Still got 40 SEs at this base, by the way, Ikea. Just thought you should know. Yeah, look, there's a couple spines here. Just Okay, fine. Use your 3 3 tanks to destroy them. That's fine too. I'm not gonna complain about it. But this is just a slow death right now. I mean this is very patiently nuking the ever loving heck. Oh, there's overseers. Does he know? He can see the dots. Okay, so Hanson's not so much an idiot that he's gonna get his army nuked today. But he's not going to pull these drones because he's too busy worried about that one. And more drones die. We're down to 25. Another nuke coming in. Oh, but no. Remember when I was like, Hanson's not an idiot? Do you recall me saying those words? Okay, well. <laughs> he gets some fungals off, but the rest of his army gets nuked. And there's just, okay, residual roaches running into the mass 334 is not really going to trade well, boys. No, Roach is in her early game unit. Akia calls Hanson a tryhard? Akia. Let's have some good manner in these games, shall we? That's what we all want in the Falcon Paladin family. <laughs> all right, well, that ghost got killed before the nuke landed. This one lands and kills an expired extractor. Heck yes. Is he calling him a tryhard because he hasn't left yet and he really should? I killed this main. How is it back? Well, you know, units have an ability to rebuild. Yeah, I love the 20 Zerglings. What's good against Thors? Mass Zergling. That's true, but you need more than Mass Zergling than 6 or 20. You need like 80 of them, man, if you're going to do something like this. At least with full upgrades, too. They got plus 3 armor and plus 2 attack and adrenal. They're almost fully cracklings, but not quite yet. Another nuke goes down. Some more drones die, I guess. And that's it, man. Hanson is done. He's got 18 army supply, 19 workers. He's still got 4,000 minerals and 5,000 gas in the bank. He just doesn't know what to do about this mech. Hanson throws down a smiley face and bam. Akia is your winner in 37 minutes. Wow. How many nukes did we get launched today? At least pff, 20? Did we get 20 nukes today? It seems entirely possible that we did. Amazing. Like, truly, truly incredible stuff here from Akia and Hanson. I've never seen a game like this before in my life. Hit that like button, by the way, if you enjoyed it, because that was nuts. Resources lost, or I feel 42,000 for Hanson and 19,000 for Akia. That is times two plus some. I, I mean, that's the thing. Hanson had this game. He had a big, scary Roach Hydra army with good upgrades. And Ikea had, like, a couple tanks and some bunkers and stuff. And if Hanson just goes and attacks right then, then sure, he wins the game. But Ikea is given time to build up and build up and expand a bunch and make more Thors. 
and get that win, right? That was it. That was the trick. The <laughs> landing those nukes in the main was hilarious. It means it 15 kill Thor, 14 kill Thor, 13, 15, 15, 13, 8. I mean, these Thors are racking them up. So each tank with 6, 34, 25, 23, and 12. These tanks are absolute legends on the battlefield. 11 tanks have died, but these guys are still alive. All, you know, there's 10 of them out, but some of them are defensive tanks. Anyway, yeah, build orders. Like, that's it. I think the problem for both these players is going to be build orders. And as a Terran player, yeah, you might think I can do whatever I want and just make a bunch of Thors and tanks and go win. But that's not really how it works as you climb higher in the ladder. You're going to want build orders to stay alive against early pushes from Zergs, who will recognize you're going mech and try to kill you before you get up to a big scary mech ball, right? Right. So that is, that's the recommendation for today. Get a build order. Do some harassment too. Like even if you're mecking, then definitely send in a ton of blue flame hellions just all over to all these different bases of the Zerg, right? Blue Flame, very, very amazing against drones. Can actually kill queens with it, too, if you have enough of them. Enough Blue Flame Hellions. So that's another thing to recommend. But bam, that right there. <laughs> Quite a crazy, brave new world game. Again, I don't think I've ever seen it seen it like that. Anyway, fantastic. That's going to be it for me today, though. This is Ben, Falcon Paladin, coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void and a Brave Noob World. Go ahead. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.